Hello everyone and welcome back to Bookcraft, the world where my friends and I build things from my favorite books and my own imagination. Let's get back into the story. So on the last episode of Bookcraft, we finished the 21 Balloons and I actually invited some of you guys, viewers, onto the server to uh, help me film the Raft of Life part and then play on the airy go round and check out my home. Uh, it was so awesome, but today we are starting a brand new book. Uh, and I've done a few improvements actually to my bedroom. I made just a little change. So we're gonna show it off in three, two, one. Ta-da! I put a window here, which I love because now I can just like look out over the mesa, I can look and see the teepees, the train tracks, the balloon buggy, my horses, and see that horse in the pen right there? We found a rare white horse with a black back. Uh, so we just, um, Nathan and I were on the server when we found it, and so uh, he trapped it in some fencing there for me to tame. Uh, but let's go ahead and go to sleep, dog ear. I didn't sleep uh, before I started the episode, so we have to do that. Uh, all right, so today, dog ear, is a very special day. Come here. We've got, oh, see, look, and now I can see, like, sunrise. Oh, I love it. Um, okay, so today's a very special day. Let's hurry and get to the word of the episode. Today's word of the episode is going to be, oh, wait a minute. Oh, yes. We, uh, we rolled back the volcano. Uh, so, cacophony. Did I just spell that right? I hope so. Uh, was the word of the episode in the last uh, now if you go to the volcano, it's not all blown to pieces uh, There's just a button that you can press uh, that will just send up the smoke, which is really cool uh, Okay, so now today's a word of the episode is going to be uh, Catterwall and that is how you spell it, but that is how you pronounce it Catterwall uh, and caterwauling means, uh, well, a caterwaul is a shrill, howling, wailing noise. So, dog ear, luckily you're, you're not someone to caterwaul. Uh, cats are sometimes, oh, look at that. <gasps> Do you see that? We've got two pigs right out there at the balloon buggy. Hmm, how appropriate. Because we are starting a new book dog ear. Oh, look at that. You're on top of my chair. You've never gotten on top of my chair before. In fact, I like you so much, I'm going to sit you there. <laughs> I'm going to sit you right there. And you can hang out with me. Or you can hang out here today, actually. Because I am going to be going adventuring in the world of Bookcraft Dog Ear. And I don't think, I think I'm going to travel by horse. I don't think it would make a lot of sense for you to come with me on this particular adventure because we're going to be doing a lot of swimming in oceans probably we're going to be covering a lot of ground because we're looking for a village um so i just don't think it's the right one for you to come in because i did learn something recently that in minecraft version 1.8 they have uh changed wolf teleportation which certainly explains a lot why you get your nose stuck in a book sometimes and you don't follow me uh so you're gonna stay there i'm gonna go uh but look at this my little window seat isn't that great i want to go try to fence in those pigs i don't know if we'll be able to do it though uh and tame that horse but we've got to get the next book uh from ms reads a lot she's good hi guys uh Okay. Wow. Uh, hi. Don't hit them, Stacy. Don't hit them. Oh, look, there's a baby pigman. Oh, we could actually use you for the next book. Um, okay. Uh, apparently, zombie pigmen have taken over our library station. Uh, they must be coming out of the nether portal, but this has never happened before. Actually, I need to put the 21 balloons into the frame. I didn't... Oh, yep, there you go. I didn't do that in the last episode. Oh my gosh, why? Where are they coming from? I mean, I know where they're coming from, but... But why? Ooh, are you interested in a book, sir? Oh, I don't know why all of a sudden they're coming out of here. Oh, God goodness i'm not going to touch them yet here we go this is a momentous occasion right here <gasps> oh i love it the 21 balloons 
Oh, it's fantastic. I almost backed up into the nether, which I don't want to do. Look at that! The first book craft is, er, the first book craft. The first book is on the library wall in book craft. I'm excited about this. This is a, this is a first zombie pigman. Oh gosh, the thing of it is, is that they could get out here and they could, I mean, I guess they despawn. But I just, I don't like the idea of all of these I, who knew? Apparently, zombie pigmen are big readers. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and get the the next book. Ms. Reed's Law is going to give it to us. I've actually, I've, I've, uh, I've determined that it is available here in the library for checking out. Uh, we've also made a few little changes here, Nathan and I did. Uh, but anyway, so she is going to give it to us. Hello, Ms. Reed's Law. May I have the next book? Here, take this. It will keep you out of my hair for a few days. Thank you, Miss Reads a lot. Uh, okay, what's the book? Charlotte's Web! Yay! Oh, Miss Reads a lot. Thank you. Charlotte's Web is the next book that we're going to be building things out of in Bookcraft. And, um, actually, you know what? I was going to say this is why we need to go on a, vill uh, a village hunt because, unfortunately, I had a carrot. I'm pretty sure it was the episode where Finn and Skye came to visit and help me build. And I had a carrot. And I have looked everywhere. Uh, and I cannot find the carrot. Like, it's gone. And I think I must have just, you know, eaten it. Which is so silly because they're rare and you can only get them in villages. And I had one. All I had to do was plant it in the ground. Uh, do I, do I, oh, I have more soup? Yes, let me load up on soup, uh, because we are going to be, well, we're, but hopefully we'll find a village, which will have a lot of food, uh, but yeah, we've got to go find a village, because we have got to get a piglet, uh, for Charlotte's Web. We need our Wilbur, unless we want to use this baby zombie pigman as our Wilbur, but something tells me that we should probably use, uh, just a regular piglet. <laughs> Wilbur? Wilbur, hi! Wil uh, could you be Wilbur, perchance? No, I think the sword kind of ruins it. Uh, oh, oh, don't hit him while you're eating, Stacy. Don't hit him while you're eating. Uh, do I need anything else? Like, do I oh, where's my armor? I should definitely put on armor. Oh, and I should take a bed with me. Uh, probably as well. So let me see here. Um, and a bucket of milk, of course, for the journey. Uh, ooh, let's take this saddle. Where did I drop? Here's a helmet. Hmm. Oh, here's a bunch of wool. So three pieces of wool. Do I have any? Do I have any wood? I need to organize these chests. They're all a mess. Uh, let's go ahead and put that one empty bowl back. Um, hmm. All right. Bye, dog ear. I'll miss you. I wish that you could come. I should bring him with me uh, because that's what Bookcraft is supposed to be all about. Me and dog ear adventuring together in the land of books. Uh, however, I know that I haven't seen any villages close by. We're going to have to go an awfully long way. Uh, and I think it'd just be better to take a horse now that we have the saddles. So, oh, you know what? I should bring a crafting table on me as well just in case let's just make a quick one of these I think I know the direction I'm going to go so anyway if you want to participate and read along uh, Charlotte's web is not going to take 30 episodes like the 21 balloons did hello uh, go ahead and see if you can get it from your library or from Amazon oh he's discovered outside oh bother um okay hi oh no we've got look at this we've got a sheep and a cow oh you guys are just making a little home here together uh we're gonna have a home for you soon actually because uh the charlotte's web train is actually going to depart on this side of the station and it will probably come over here to the first stop which is going to be the barn uh, well, or the first or second stop, possibly. We're going to do a big barn over here. I mean, a huge barn. Oh, there's another horse right there. Um, but I think... Do I have that kind of a horse? I don't know. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we're going to do a really, really massive barn. Uh, and it's going to be able to house horses and cows and all of our rainbow sheep. 
and of course our baby piglet. Uh, and um, I need to do, I need to somehow get these pigs over here trapped. Where did they go? Oh no! Wilbur's pair. Oh, there's one of them. Well, at least they're around. I could have sworn I had carrots. I mean, I just, I guess it's just that one that I did not, uh, did not save. I ate it. Anyway, so I hope you guys are as excited for Charlotte's Web as I am. It is a classic. It's by E.B. White, and that's actually what I'm going to name this horse, uh, which stands for, um, oh, no, please love me, uh, Elwyn. I think it's Elwyn Brooks White. So you are Horse Elwyn, or E.B. White, which it's cool because you are white. Uh, and Charlotte's Web was his second book, uh, his second children's book that was published in 1952. His first book is called Stuart Little. That's from 1945, and I highly recommend that book as well. Do you love me? Do you love me yet? No, I can't open your inventory. I think you're still going to buck me. You love me. Oh, thank you. I should have brought armor for you. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, okay, let's jump here. Now, I see one pig. Should I? Let me hop off, actually, and see if I can trap this pig in. I don't know if I have enough fences. Uh, but anyway, uh, what I want to do in Bookcraft is I want to kind of alternate. Maybe not alternate, but... I want to do books that are not classics, books that I loved growing up that are a little unusual, and then, of course, include a classic every now and then uh, just, you know, to, to, keep, to keep something familiar so that it's not just all like, what book are you talking about, Stacey? No, 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 oh, wait, 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 look at this, I have a lead, I totally forgot I had a lead, come here. Come on in here. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it here. Uh, and can, oh, there, I see the other one too. So let me go ahead and put down, uh, there we go. You stay there. Uh, I need to actually, give me my lead back. Uh, I need to, I need to sleep really quick, but I want to get this guy here. Oh, I can't sprint either. That's not good when it's nighttime in the Mesa. <gasps> Look at the beautiful sunset, though. All right. Hurry, 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 hurry. Oh, E.B. White, don't go too far. Um, all right. Come on. Come on, piggy. Come on, piggy. All right. Come on in here, please. Come on. Push you in. Push you in. No, 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 no. Get in. Get in. Oh, you're being a stubborn pig, aren't you? Come in here. Thank you. Uh, okay. Let me just... Fence you guys in. That will be perfect. I will uh, breed you when I get back with carrots. What I need to do now is sleep. And if you have been a viewer since the beginning of Bookcraft, you will remember that I actually used to sleep. Was it here or was it over there? I think it might have been here. I used to sleep here. Oh, wait a minute. Now I can't take this bed because then that's my spawn point. All right. Well, I, I think it's safe to say that I'm not going to die during the day. <laughs> let's hope so. That would be, that'd be really depressing if I did. So let's hope that I don't, I can't, I can't, or who knows where I'll end up. I'll end up where I first started when I started this series. Let's go ahead and grab E.B. White and set off. Uh, so anyway, as I was saying, I want to do, uh, I throw in a few classics, just especially while Bookcraft is getting started and we're still you know, experimenting with all the books that we're doing. And then um, every once in a while, I'll throw in a book that you might not have ever heard of. So we're going to come this way. And I just, I don't know. We did pass a village the first night that we were ever in Bookcraft, but it didn't have crops. Otherwise, I would have gotten them all. Uh, it was a really small desert village. And it was, um, wait, was it this way? I think maybe it was this way. Uh, but anyway, we're going to come back this way. I think we're going to go off towards, because everything around here is like ocean and mesa, which I've never seen a mesa village. I don't think that they exist. Uh, but I'm going to come over this way and probably cross this little like channel uh, and try to find the big mainland over here. Uh, oh, and I should have built, I wonder if I could have led a horse while on a boat. Probably. I, I did it with dog ear. I probably should build a boat. Hmm. Okay, is that a savanna tree right there? 
Did I? Oh, yeah. I knew that there was Savannah over here. I just totally forgot. Maybe that's a better way to go than the way I was going to go. Huh. Mm, I think I'm going to still go the way that I was thinking of going. Can I walk in this shallow of water? Cool. Here we go. I think I'm going to still go this way, which is the way that I'm pretty sure we connect okay i'm not making the same mistake again that i've made with another horse with your coloring i'm going to let you do your thing and i'm going to lead you uh i think i'm going to come over here so i'm going to go ahead and speed this up and we are going to hopefully find a village Okay, I'm I'm pretty sure this is where I found dog ear uh, like up there where those spruce trees are I'm pretty sure that that's where by the way. Did you see that we passed the sunflower field? I'm pretty sure those are pretty rare uh, So I really don't know where to go. I don't really want to go through the roofed forest But at the same time this looks like extreme hills I think I'm gonna go through the extreme hills even though this is a little bit look at all that coal my goodness uh, this is a little bit precarious, but at least I'm not getting super hungry because I'm on uh, EB White, so that's good. Um, but yeah, let's come up here and see if we can get a better view. It'd be really awesome if we could just get really lucky. Please, Minecraft. Is that like a decent... This is definitely where I, um, I got dog ear. Oh, good times, the memories. I'm glad I didn't bring him, actually. It would have been, would have been bittersweet for... Whoa! I'm pretty sure this is where I... Is this where I spawned, possibly? Um, all right, I don't know if this was the right way to come. I, I have a tendency to fall off cliffs on horses, if you're familiar with my cube series. <laughs> uh, so I don't know if this is a good idea, but I'm, I'm hoping that we can just find, oh, look at this over here. Look how pretty this is. <gasps> this is so beautiful. I don't know. We're just going to keep going and hopefully find a village. <gasps> There's a bunny. Not as exciting as a village, but I like bunnies. Another thing that would like carrots. Come with me, bunny. I'm on the hunt for carrots. You're going to like it. I, am I just going to be like on a really big cliff here? Oh, no. I think I want to come this way, though, because this looks like it could go into... I don't know which way I want to go or how I'm going to get down. This was a bad idea. Why did I come onto Extreme Hill? <gasps> hills, Stacy. Extreme Hills was a bad idea. Let's go back down and go through the roofed forest. All right, I'm going to cut to when I'm somewhere closer, hopefully, to like, I don't know. Do villages spawn mostly like in plains? I would think maybe. Ooh, there's lava over there. I do not want to get over there with the horse. Uh, oh, let's just take this water down. That'll be perfect. And then I think that's a ravine. So, oh boy. Can we come this way? Or is this also going to be a steep drop? We can. We can come this way. Is that a baby bunny? Have I ever seen a baby bunny? Hi, baby bunny. Hello. I want to see. <gasps> Look how tiny you are. Is this? Have I ever seen a baby bunny? Look at you. You're tiny. I wish I could keep you. I could lead you, um, but I feel like that would be mean. You'd be really, really tired because we're going fast. All right, guys, I'll be back. 
Okay, I am back, and guys, we got really lucky. I found a village. So the extreme hills that I was just in... Oh, I don't think it's generating. They're, like, right there. Um, yeah, come on. I guess my render distance is set too low. Uh, but anyway, we just went through um, the birch forest that we were looking down on, and then I came to this desert... And then on the opposite side of this desert, there is a village. And it looks like it's actually a pretty big one, which is good. Uh, because it should definitely have crops. And look at all these pigs! It's like they know. They're like, this way, Stacy. We want you to do Charlotte's Web. The carrots are this way. Hi, guys. Uh, all right, so hopefully... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> we're going to get lucky. I can't imagine a village this big not having crops. And this is exciting, because I don't think we've ever seen, like, a... A big, we just saw that desert village that one time. So, hello, guys. Ooh, you look, you look creepy. Oh, my gosh. Hi. I should put you, I should put one of you in the Moroccan House of Marvels. <gasps> Ooh, hello, sir. Ooh. Oh, I know what you have in here. You've got a chest. Oops, sorry, Evie White. Um, oh, Hello, butcher. Ooh, that's kind of ominous. Uh, ooh, bread, gold, iron sword, iron pickaxe. Ooh, obsidian, iron leggings, which I don't have. Uh, all right, I guess that's, I guess that's good. Uh, I should tie you up here. <gasps> carrots! 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 Yay! Oh, we found carrots. Uh, and look at this. There's a library <gasps> with a Ms. Reed's lot in there. Hi! I should steal those books, maybe. Uh, we've got wheat. Uh, what are those? Are those, like, the potatoes? Yep. Um, I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. That's a cool house. I always love how sometimes the villagers' houses, like, you can't get in. <laughs> lovely it's a lovely house right there uh that might be where i need to stay the night oh we've got more crops over here guys i'm really sorry i'm gonna try not to take all of your crops i'll just take a few uh oh i wish there was a village right close to my house this is cool all right well awesome mission accomplished we found a village i can get carrots which means in the next episode we can get a little baby pig let's go ahead and actually where'd those carrots go I want to go ahead and grab some before the episode's over. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and raid a bunch of these. And then I'll probably just go travel home. I probably won't show that on camera. Um, where are they? Where did they just go? Oh, there they are. Uh, what do I need? Look, I found rose bushes. I don't know if I've ever found those in this texture pack, but they're really pretty. Um, I guess they don't need a sign. There, we got the carrots! Yay! Uh, okay, guys, so in the next episode, we will get started on breeding our little Wilbur, our little piggy, back at the station. <gasps> Look at all the horses over here. Ooh, I could take one back with me. <gasps> Look how cool that one is with all the spots. It's like a Dalmatian. <gasps> you are awesome. I might, I might have to bring you back. I might. There's two of them. Oh, this one's a cool one, too, though. <gasps> okay, Stacy. Note to Nathan, make the barn big enough for lots of horses. However, don't get carried away. It's not horsecraft, it's bookcraft. Uh, anyway, until next time, guys, uh, <laughs> I'm going to go and uh, grab all of these crops. Uh, but until then, uh, Paige and Molly love you. Go read a book.